Attorney Greg Jarrett, Mueller and his entire team must be removed. Attorney and Fox News legal analyst, Greg Jarrett said special counsel Robert Mueller and his entire team must be removed after it was revealed dirty rotten cop Mueller secretly got his hands on many tens of thousands of emails exchanged by Trump transition officials. Trump's lawyer, Langhofer noted the special counsel's office has extensively used the materials in question, including portions that are susceptible to claims of privilege. Mueller obtained the emails through the General Services Administration, GSA, that were sent using presidential transition team addresses ending in ptt.gov. In a letter obtained by Fox News and sent to House and Senate committees on Saturday, the transition team's attorney alleges unlawful conduct by the career staff at the General Services Administration in handing over transition documents to the special counsel's office. Unlike Mueller, Rosenstein and the other liberal hack lawyers hunting Trump down without naming the crime, attorney Greg Jarrett is actually able to name the laws that Mueller and his team have violated. Jarrett argues, critically, a significant volume of privileged material was taken by Mueller, according to the Trump transition lawyer, and then used by the special counsel team in its investigation. Mueller's staff apparently admits this egregious violation, which the law strictly forbids. Under the law, the only remedy is Mueller's dismissal from the case. Greg Jarrett cites the Presidential Transition Act. The Presidential Transition Act states that all records of transition operations are private and confidential. Yet Mueller seems to have ignored the law. Without a warrant or subpoena, his team of lawyers brazenly demanded these private records from the General Services Administration (GSA), which held custody of the materials. The GSA does this as a service to all incoming presidents out of courtesy but it neither owns the documents nor is authorized to release them to anyone under any circumstances because they are deemed entirely private. Counsel for the Trump transition team has sent a letter to Congress alleging the Fourth Amendment was violated in failing to obtain a warrant for the search or seizure of private property in which the owner has a reasonable expectation of privacy, Coolidge v. New Hampshire, 403 U.S. 443, 489. Jared says the most damning charge against Mueller is that he obtained, reviewed and used material that is privileged. Courts have clearly stated what prosecutors are supposed to do under these circumstances, an attorney who receives privileged documents has an ethical duty to cease review of the documents, notify the privilege holder, and return the documents. U.S. v. Taylor 764 Fed Sub 2nd, 230, 235. Greg Jarrett concludes his piece by saying even the use by Mueller of one privileged document means he must be removed. The case of Finn v. Schiller, 72 F.3 R.D. 1182, 1189 spells out the required remedy for this violation of the law. Courts have frequently used their supervisory authority to disqualify prosecutors for obtaining materials protected by the attorney client privilege. Statutory law also demands Mueller's removal. Pursuant to 5 CFR 2635.501, government employees, including prosecutors, are directed to take appropriate steps to avoid an appearance of loss of impartiality in the performance of his or her official duties. Given the insular nature of the special counsel operation, it is reasonable to conclude that all the lawyers and investigators likely accessed the privileged documents. Therefore, not just Mueller, but his entire team must be dismissed. This would include Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein who oversees the case. Congress should take aggressive action by petitioning a federal judge to order their removal, Jared says. It truly is unbelievable that Mueller has lasted this long. The dirty cops set up a liberal dream team of left-wing hack lawyers who are hell-bent on removing a duly elected president. Mueller never even named one crime Trump committed. Collusion isn't even a crime yet inept hacks in Congress and AG Sessions have sat back while a Stalin-like witch hunt goes on and on. Enough is enough. The American people are absolutely fed up with lawlessness from deep state operatives. Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein showed the whole world this week that he is also a crooked, slimy, dirty, nasty piece of work. He should not be working in the U.S. DOJ-he should be in prison.
It's time the tables are turned and a special counsel is appointed to investigate Mueller, McCabe, Sturzog, or, Comey, Hillary et al., et al.